Yo, hi everyone, GameSager here, making a video for Star Wars Battlefront 2 Starfighter Assault. So I went to Gamescom and got to capture a bunch of gameplay while I was there, and I'm going to upload quite a bit of things. I have uh, some other hero ships and stuff to upload, but this video will be the Black X-Wing and this Bomber class um, ship. Anyway, I decided to all explain a little bit about how the game works and all that. So basically, the, the red diamonds, those are your enemies, and you're supposed to aim at the white circle in front of them. That's where you're supposed to lead, so your shot actually hits them. Uh, most of the ships have lock-on missiles, so this ship has lock-on missiles on the R1 uh, ability over there on the right that's on cooldown. Um, the top one is an ion cannon that just tracks and shoots them. I believe it slows them down. And the left little droid thing kills your ship uh, faster instead of having to wait for it to regen. So your health does regen in this if you get away long enough, your health will regenerate. So you want to just like sneak in, do damage, and go away when your health is low, let it come back, and then come back out again. Anyway, this ship is slower than the other two, but it does more damage per shot and it has more health, so that's why I like it. I uh, tend to do best with this the bomber class ship on both sides. You're supposed to go after those big ships that say attack on them for the objective, but in this build, you actually won the first two segments no matter what, so that all three phases would play at the Gamescom show floor, because they didn't want people to, you know, come play and then lose within the first minute and then can't play anymore. So the first part, you destroy those ships, and then after that, you're supposed to go into a door down there in this, that big U thing. And then there's three generators you destroy. You need to destroy those three generators. You'll see them later. Um, and then after you destroy those three generators, there'll be another section. In that section, you destroy these four clamps so that you can destroy the thing on the bottom of the ship. It's, it was really hard to do if your team's not coordinated. So this side usually ends up losing at, uh, during this build, even though in the first two parts, it basically does it for you. But at the end, you'll see the other team usually wins this game mode in this current build anyway, when people don't know what they're doing and all that stuff. But if you have a team that knows what they're doing, if you have even maybe like three other players that know what the objective, you could win pretty easily. Um, so it's super fun. The ships are very easy to control. It's like, it's, it's felt very good to control. You knew exactly what you were doing. Whenever you move your analog, you know where your ship's gonna go after you figure it out. It works really well. I play with advanced controls on and inverted flight. I don't know why I play normal uh, controls for shooters and stuff, but when I fly vehicles, I like inverted. So anyway, this is the black X-Wing, and with the black X-Wing, the left droid thing is also a heal, but it heals you much faster. The right is homing missiles, and the top one, where you push both buttons at the same time, is like a scan ability where you can see everybody through walls, and I believe you do more damage while you're using it. Uh, you'll see them glowing red and it flashing and stuff, and that means it's activated. So this ship, the thing I like about it more than the Millennium Falcon, why I pick it, is because it's hard to tell you're in a hero ship. And most of the hero ships, when people see it, they all attack it and you just get team shot to death by a bunch of people and it's kind of hard to stay alive. But the Black X-Wing, people don't really realize you're in a hero ship until they get close to you and notice uh, that it's taking a lot of extra time to kill you. So yeah, I really like using the ship. It's super fast, super agile, turns really fast. Another thing I forgot to mention, is that you could slow your ship down. You hold down on the left analog, slows you down, hold forward on it and speeds you up. You could do sharper turns when you're going slower. So I tend to, you know, slow down to a sharp turn and then speed back up again and slow down when I need to try to uh, take down another ship. There's moments where you'll be locked on by homing missiles and you'll have an orange circle on you with like an arrow in it. Uh, at first I was trying to like go to the direction of the arrow, but I found that if you just go really fast and just go straight into the arrow while holding, making your ship go that direction, it dodges the missiles best. So anyway, that's basically it. I wanted to explain what happened. Gamescom was super fun. Uh, thank you so much EA for inviting me, and it was a lot of fun. I had a really good time. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy my future Star Wars content. Uh, maybe I will make more guides and explanations on how to fly because I'm, I'm pretty okay at this game already. Some of you know I used to fly the Banshee in Halo Reach all day. That's all I did. So for like three years of my life, all I did was fly vehicles. So I actually, this clicked with me quite well. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. If you want to see more of my content and my Star Wars content, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.
Too many. We'll retreat the fight a little. 